Hello and welcome. My name is Rosie and I work for the Behavioural Insight Team. Sainsbury's have approached us and need help with a fast rising issue. The issue we were faced with was that children are consuming too much sugar and that we need to try and make them cut down. This presentation will show you all the research I've done and any findings that I thought were interesting. Just to quickly sum up what I will be talking about, here is my agenda. Firstly, going through background research and the objectives that I hoped for, then moving on to my research methodology and what I found from this, finishing off with a conclusion of my research. To kickstart my research, I wanted to find out why the issue occurred and what this eventually led to. The most common thing I found online was that a treat for most children is sugar. This is also the case for bribery and rewards, that they are given sugar. I also read that children love the taste, however to me this wasn't too insightful as it, um, as it is not only kids that enjoy the taste of sugar, as most people enjoy sugar as a treat. Reading more into the impact of sugar on children, I found that the issue was far worse than I thought. Problems such as obesity, diabetes and tooth decay are becoming increasingly more common in children. Nearly a third of children between the ages of 2 and 15 are obese. I also researched ways which can commonly work to make children eat healthier, and these are the main ones that I came across. Choices and indecisions, so giving children healthy options to choose from makes them feel like they are in control, and therefore making their own decisions. Gateway foods, so introducing healthy foods with foods they already like. Snacking smarter, including kids with making the food, and if they've made a healthy meal then they are more likely to enjoy it. Don't force it and then don't lead by example, or well, they're pretty self-explanatory. Sainsbury's have already tried to help with sugar consumption in children, however numbers of child obesity are still rising, and therefore they need to do more. They have already reduced their sugar tonnage by 18% since 2015, and in 2017 they launched Active Kids, but it's now time to try something new. My main three objectives of doing my own research were to see if supermarkets have any effect on a child's habits, learn about consumer experience from their, them personally, and also about their child's shopping habits and experiences. To gather as much information as I could, I chose to do interviews with as many, pe as many people as I could and also get as much of an insight as I could into their consumer experience. I interviewed 10 people and I also spoke to a few of their children to get a better knowledge of how they feel when in a supermarket. There were a couple of limitations that of course may have affected my research, one being that everyone I interviewed I knew, therefore I was concerned that people would just answer in my favour and answer how they think that might help me and not actually true to themselves. Another limitation is obviously due to COVID, many research methods were jeopardised. I would have liked to have spent a day in the shops and personally gone up to shoppers to take photos or ask questions, but due to social distancing, this was not possible and therefore meant everything had to be done over the phone or online. So after my interviews, I pulled all my data and put it all into a spreadsheet and analysed my findings. To no surprise, most people said very similar things and there was only really two pieces of data that I thought were worth using as my main pieces of evidence, let's say, to continue the research. One being that every single parent said that their child doesn't want to come, said it's because they find it boring. The other being said that out of all those parents that said their child does want to come, 75% said it's because they get a treat and the other 25 said it's because they actually enjoy it. So the vast majority of parents were actually saying that their children get treats in the supermarkets, which is why they want to come. So to conclude, I think that a way that may be the solution is by making the shopping experience more fun for a child. They find it boring and therefore want food. So I think by making it more enjoyable, it might make them want to shop healthier and also not ask for many treats and actually want to go shopping, therefore trying tying into my background research of including the children in the cooking. Thank you.